Hello all you fun seekers. Today we're coming to you from Lynchburg, Virginia. We're standing outside of Blaze Pizza. We decided to come here today for lunch. So y'all come along and join us as we take you inside and show you what Blaze Pizza has to offer. I can't wait for all of you fun seekers to see exactly how they personalize your pizza for you. There are 299 Blaze Pizza restaurants in the United States as of August 30th, 2023. Virginia has four locations, which are in Lynchburg, Midlothian, Roanoke, and Williamsburg. The state with the most number of Blaze Pizza locations is California, with 93 restaurants. Here at Blaze Pizza, this is how it operates. You pick your pizza, you build your own pizza, you pick your crust, then you pick your toppings, and then they put it all together, they put it in the oven, and then about three minutes later, your pizza is ready to eat. Now you can choose the build your own and you get to choose your top, which is kind of like going to Subway or Jersey Mike's, but with a pizza, putting all the different toppings and cheeses you want on it. Or you can choose one of their delicious signature pizzas. Either way, it's 10.5 for the pizza, unless you want a different type of dough, like high rise dough, gluten free dough. Yes, they do have gluten free dough. Um, the collie crust, which we call it flour or keto crust. They are additional cost to get those crust. The dough used for every Blaze pizza is prepared daily using filtered water, unbleached flour, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and a touch of sugar. After the dough is made, it is put in the cooler to set for 24 hours so the dough can rise. Blaze also offers a gluten-free dough which is vegan as well and can provide a soy-free vegan cheese option and a variety of fresh vegetables. The dough is never frozen. It's always fresh. The dough has been pressed into a pizza crust and is ready for the delicious toppings and the oven. As we start out, you notice they have some lettuces up here. You can get yourself a fresh salad made. You can get like a Caesar salad. You got the croutons and the other toppings to go on your salad. As we come down through here, you'll notice they have all these sauces. You got the classic red sauce, the garlic pesto sauce, spicy red sauce, the shredded mozzarella. They have a grated parmesan, feta, and a goat cheese. And as we come down a little bit further here, you'll notice all the toppings for your pizza. They have some vegan cheese, ricotta, the fresh mozzarella. The pepperoni, grilled chicken, salami, Italian meatballs, Italian sausage, your bacon, cherry tomatoes, spinach, and some mushrooms. And all the toppings, they're nice and fresh looking. And then this side right here, you'll notice they have more toppings for your pizzas. They have artichokes, your green bell peppers, your, your olives, red peppers, jalapenos, pineapple. And up top, you have some sea salt and oregano. And you get to put whatever you want on your pizza. You can have it fixed your way. I'll take the classic red sauce, please. Yes, please. The sauces they have are the classic red sauce, and then I'll take garlic some in your pesto fresh sauce, mozzarella. spicy red sauce, white cream sauce. Then you can see the different cheeses. David's already gotten over here getting some more cheese, getting that fresh mozzarella, which is our favorite. And then I'll take some pepperoni. Then your bacon. And then some of the cherry tomatoes. And some mushrooms. And then I'll take some of your 
green peppers or red peppers, whatever you got, and onions. David really knows how to build a pizza. And I'll take some fresh basil. And then some sea salt and the oregano, and that'll be it. And now we're gonna put it in the oven and we'll show you what it looks like when we get done. Now this is Cindy's pizza after she's created it. We'll let her tell you what all she got put on it in just a little bit. It's getting ready to go to the oven. You will notice the pizzas are in the oven. They are cooking them. You see that fire, that blaze from the fire glowing. They just called my name is ready, so let's take it to the table and we're gonna show you what it looks like. And they just brought Cindy's pizza out of the oven, you can see it. It's piping hot. And it looks delicious. You'll notice he's cutting it right now. And there's the, fin the finished product. All right, Cindy, tell me what all you got on your pizza. All right, David, first of all, I got mo mozzarella cheese, a little bit of the Parmesan grated cheese, some of the fresh mozzarella, pepperonis, lots of them, bacon. You know I gotta have basil on a pizza. If you've ever watched our videos, you know how much I love basil. And then I also got some pineapple. I think I named everything. Your pizza does look very good. Oh, and it's steaming hot. You can just see the steam coming up from it. I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm gonna try my pizza. Hope it's not too hot for this first piece. Mm. Delicious. The crust is cooked perfectly, the bottom of it. I love that thin crust. The sauce tasted delicious. Excellent pizza so far. I can't wait to get into this. If you notice, I'm using a little box top. I always take pizza with me. I don't eat this whole thing. So I always just go ahead and get a box and use the top with my plate. And that's a tip for you if you'd like to do the same. A lot of people just eat it straight off the tray, and that's fine, too. Well, here's my finished pizza. Cindy videoed it being put together. So I got a little bit of everything on mine, starting out with the fresh mozzarella cheese, some cherry tomatoes, red peppers, red onions, some basil, mushrooms. Pizza sure does look good. And like Cindy says, they've got a very nice thin crust here. And we love a thin crust pizza. It's hard, in my opinion, a thin crust pizza is hard to beat. I would have to agree with you, David. I know you are excited about this. You have been wanting to come up here for a while. This is one of my favorite pizza places in Lynchburg. I've always loved the pizza head blades. In my opinion, you know, you can't beat the price. When you come here, you build your own, no matter if you get one, two toppings, or you get everything in your got in your case up there, it's gonna be the same price. And that's what I like about coming here. Now, actually, if you only get like one or two toppings, it is a little bit cheaper. I think it starts at around $7.95 for a pizza. But we always just build our own and put whatever we want on it, and you don't have to worry about it. Right. But I'm just talking about if you go to a normal pizza place and you get one or two toppings, it's going to cost you more there than what you can get everything they've got in it in the case of their phone. And they're so good here, like if it's something you really like, you can ask them for extra of it. Mm -hmm. And it's no additional charge. I just put extra but on it for you. The pizza, like you said, the crust, it's got that little char to it. 
it's uh, nice and thin and crispy. And I, just I, everything I've got on it just blends together perfectly. The angle I have right now, and I hope people are seeing what I'm seeing, you can just see how thin it is. This crust is amazing, people. Well, Cindy, what do you think about your pizza so far at Blaze? David, it's outstanding. Uh, I have no complaints on this at all. The taste of the sauce is very good. We haven't mentioned that. It's, to me, it has a little bit of a kick to it, and I like that. Your mind's a little spicy. But, but it's not, you know, overly hot or anything, but just sometimes, you know, you'll have pizza and the sauce is kind of bland. This is a really good taste to it. It is. I would agree with you. And I'll tell you one other thing. We hadn't mentioned this yet, but everybody in here is just as friendly as they yes. can be. While we've been here eating, we've had several folks come by already and check on us to make sure everything was okay. And when you walk in your door, first thing you hear, welcome to Blaze. I'm down to my last piece. If I can finish this up, I will remain a member of the Clean Plate Club. Now, I had no doubt when we walked in here that you were gonna be a member of the Clean Plate Club here. But everything has been delicious. I always enjoy coming to the Blaze. You know, we love the Blaze pizza especially that thin crust. They always cook it perfectly. And about three minutes in the oven, it's done. So you come here, you're in a hurry. This is a good option for people on the, in a hurry on the go. You can get your food, you can get in, you can get out, so. That is a very good point. If you wanna come by for lunch, you'll be able to make it back in time for work. You will be, and as always, uh, the pizza's always been consistent. Every time I come in, it always tastes the same. It's just a very good experience. I enjoy it so much, it's just delicious. Along with it being consistent, I also want to add, they always have all the ingredients. You know how we go to some places, and we've even video places, right? and you get in there, and you go to order something, but we don't have this ingredient, or we don't have this topping. I mean, you're a pizza place, you should have your toppings. I agree with you, but, you know, highly recommend Blaze Pizza. Well, let's take a look at our receipt from Blaze Pizza. You see we ordered two build your own pizzas. They're ten forty five each. I got the large drink and then the tax came to a total of twenty six sixty six. Well Cindy, what did you think about your experience today here at Blaze Pizza in Lynchburg? David, it was a good experience as always. I can always count on Blaze to be consistent. Everything I had on my pizza was delicious. In fact I think I probably put a few more toppings than normal on it and everything was so tasty. I had pineapple on there, and I know that's always a debate. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Well, let me tell you, yes, because that sauce, like I said, had a little bit of a kick to it, and then when you put that sweet pineapple with that, it was delicious. Highly recommend. And speaking of toppings, the number of toppings they have in here for their pizza is unreal. It is. When you look at the different types of cheeses, the different types of meats, and the vegetables and everything, if you want on a pizza, they pretty much have it. Yes, they do. And the thing I love about it, you can come in here, build your own pizza. If you want three or four toppings, that's fine. If you want everything they have to offer, that is fine. You're gonna pay the same price for your build your own pizza. And you know, you go to most places, they wanna charge you for each and every topping, but not here at Blaze. And that's one thing I love about coming here. And also, another reason I like coming here is that thin crust pizza. That pizza is perfectly cooked in the special mm -mm. oven they have and that pizza will cook I mean, that oven will cook your pizza in approximately three minutes so if you're in a hurry want a, a fast option blaze pizza is a place to come to and get your pizza also another thing i love here blaze is that Bla blood orange lemonade you can't go wrong in that in my opinion that's one of my favorite drinks i always get that i usually take a cup with me when i leave same thing today i took me one for the road i cannot get enough of it and as far as the price, I mentioned that. Excellent price for Excellent. pizza. Excellent. We ate today for both of us. I got a drink. Just with tax and everything, just a little over $25. And, and I have pizza to take home. You know, you go to a fast food place, you're going to spend at least 20 bucks for two people, or if not more. So for the value, I think it's an excellent place. And you know, one thing that I really like, David, is they fix it right in front of you. Especially if you're a picky eater like I am, I love seeing my food prepared. I can see if they put something on there I don't like or I don't want. And they don't do that, but it's just nice to see that. I enjoy having the food prepared right in front of me. It is a, a nice to see it being prepared right in front of you. 
If you love going to a Subway and watching them make your food, you would definitely love Blaze Pizza. Anything else you want to mention about Blaze, Cindy? No, just that it was great. And the staff, thank you. Thank you for such a good experience. Everyone was super nice and just so friendly. And when you walk in the door, welcome to Blaze. And you know how I love to go somewhere that's friendly. And I'd like to give a special sh uh, shout out to Steve. Mm -hmm. I've seen Steve here numerous times when I come to Blaze. He's always very friendly. He makes you feel welcome. And that is what you want when you go to a restaurant. So thank you, Steve, for making us feel welcome. And thank us for showing us around and talking to us and telling us a little bit about the process. Folks, if y'all in Lynchburg, Virginia, looking for a good pizza, Steve told us that this Blaze was been voted the best pizza in Lynchburg by the Living Magazine for seven years in a row. And I can see why. So y'all come by. Give Blaze a try. Tell them the VA Fun Seeker sent you. So un until next time, we thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Ring that notification bell if you hadn't done so already. And stay tuned for more adventures from the VA Fun Seekers. Until next time, thank you all and God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What's hot this month? September Mega Mushroom. $8.99. If you love mushrooms, this will be the pizza for you.